let's take a look at finding a confidence interval uh, about the um, difference of means of matched pair data. And specifically, this is the problem we're going to look at. Given reaction time to red and reaction time to blue, create a 99% confidence interval about the population difference between red and blue. Now notice between red and blue. Red is first, so that goes in column one, and blue is going to go in our second column. If they had reversed that, if they said the population mean difference between blue and red, we would put blue in the first column and red in the second column. Okay, so let's put our red in our first column. So I got 0 0.425. 0 0.511, 0 0.712, 0 0.651, 0 0.499, and 0 0.505. Now I'm going to put my blue in my second column. So I got 0 0.404, 0 0.622, 0 0.605, 0 0.719, 0 0.813 and 0 0.350 okay now in our third column we're going to subtract these two columns a minus b so I'm doing equals that's how we do a function and I'll do a1 minus b1 so I'm subtracting this cell and this cell and then press enter now if I click this cell and put my mouse in the lower right hand corner, you see it becomes a plus. It's a like a big white plus there, but then this becomes a regular plus there. Once I'm down in that corner, I'm going to click on my left mouse button and hold down and drag and fill it down. And that'll fill in all my, all my um, differences. I could if I wanted to. Um, what I did is I left clicked on one and I'm doing a right click and choose an insert and I could even put my titles on here if, if I wanted so realize that's the differences right there okay well in order to get our um, our confidence interval we need a mean so our mean will be equal and I'll do an equals average and then I'll do a beginning parentheses C2 colon C7 and then closing parentheses you can also if you're a little bit uh, more familiar with Excel you can um, when you have that uh, at this point you can just click your left mouse button hold down drag it down there and it fills that in for you but it's really easy just to spot um, the range usually mash pair problems aren't like a huge uh, huge amount of pairs you know, we're talking most of the times under 10. And then press enter. Okay, that gives us our average, our mean. And specifically, that's a, our sample mean. Okay. And we also need our sample standard deviation. So I'm going to do equals standard deviation. And I want to choose the, the standard deviation dot S for sample does beginning parentheses and then I'll do C2 colon C7 and then closing parentheses okay now next thing we're going to get is the margin of error keep making this column bigger <laughs> so our margin of error that's given to us by we're doing equals and the confidence dot t now there may be other other situations where you find a confidence interval or you won't use this function but specifically when work working with uh, mash paired you want to use confidence dot t now it's asking us for alpha and um, we said we're creating a 99 percent confidence interval so we're going to put in the one percent so we'll put in 0.01 comma and it's asking us for standard deviation. Well, standard deviation we put in cell C10. So I'll put C10 there. Comma. And then the size. Well, there's six of them. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hard code six. And then closing parentheses. And then press enter. You could also use the function uh, option up here. If you like a little bit more user friendly uh, look. 
And if you do that, then it'll it'll give you maybe some more information about what should be there and so forth. And even a help edit function if you wanted. By the way, click OK and gives me my margin of error. Now your mean and your margin of error is what's going to give you your confidence interval. So our lower bound, that's going to be your mean and um, mean minus margin of error. So I'll say mean minus E. So I'm going to do equals the mean, which is in cell C9, minus the margin of error, which is in C11. Enter. And then our upper bound. This is the mean plus our margin of error. So we're going to have uh, equals our mean, so we'll do C9, plus our margin of error, which is C11. And then press Enter. And these right here are our confidence intervals. So it goes from negative 0.31 to 0.24, rounded two decimal places. And I have that written out here, negative 0.31 to 0.24. Well, you have to use a little bit of functions to, to get that. So it's not as, as clean as um, some of the other Excel features for statistics. Um, but that's why you have to do it in this, this particular version.